It's here. The deadly drug xylazine is in Jefferson County, laced in drugs, which are terrifying agencies already overwhelmed dealing with drug overdoses and fentanyl. It is becoming an epidemic. Um, it is becoming a worry. It's be found in stuff that people have no idea that they're using. Um, so we want to let people know um, this is a threat. It has been found in Jefferson County. Six months into 2023, nine people in Jefferson County have died from overdoses, seven involving fentanyl, two because of xylazine, which is a narcotic. So life-saving methods like Narcan won't work, and street drugs aren't the only target. There's a thing nowadays where people are taking one medication. They may think it's Adderall, but it's mimicked to look like that, and it's actually fentanyl and, or it could have xylazine in it. And then if people find things on the street and just encounter it or if they have pets and they could also ingest something. It's not just happening to certain people. Yes, there are the users, but there are other people that have no idea that this could impact them or people that they know. Because this issue isn't going away anytime soon, the agency just got these in the office. They're xylazine test strips, and now they're distributing them to law enforcement, emergency response agencies, and anyone else who wants them. They are the ones that get called to the scenes of overdoses, so they can leave these kits behind with people so that they have these. Both the strips and Narcan are free to everyone. Narcan is about saving a life. A lot of people may never realize they need to use it, but if they have it, especially in certain areas of Jefferson County, if they're more rural and it's going to take more time to, for medical services to get there, um, sometimes that's too long if someone's not breathing to get that Narcan. Because every second counts. Reporting from Watertown, I'm Isabella Colello.